You're listening to the Chapter a Day Audio Bible. I'm John Stonge, and today we're in Psalms 144 and 145, and we'll be reading from the New English Translation. Psalm 144 by David The Lord, my protector, deserves praise. The one who trains my hands for battle and my fingers for war. Who loves me and is my stronghold, my refuge and my deliverer, my shield and the one in whom I take shelter, who makes nations submit to me. O Lord, of what importance is the human race that you should notice them? Of what importance is mankind that you should be concerned about them? People are like a vapor, their days like a shadow that disappears. O Lord, Make the sky sink and come down. Touch the mountains and make them smolder. Hurl lightning bolts and scatter them. Shoot your arrows and rout them. Reach down from above. Grab me and rescue me from the surging water, from the power of foreigners who speak lies and make false promises. O God, I will sing a new song to you. Accompanied by a ten-stringed instrument, I will sing praises to you, the one who delivers kings, and rescued David, his servant, from a deadly sword. Grab me and rescue me from the power of foreigners who speak lies and make false promises. Then our sons will be like plants that quickly grow to full size. Our daughters will be like corner pillars carved like those in a palace." Our storehouses will be full, providing all kinds of food. Our sheep will multiply by the thousands and fill our pastures. Our cattle will be weighted down with produce. No one will break through our walls. No one will be taken captive. And there will be no terrified cries in our city squares. How blessed are the people who experience these things. How blessed are the people whose God is the Lord. Psalm 145, a psalm of praise by David. I will extol you, my God, O King. I will praise your name continually. Every day I will praise you. I will praise your name continually. The Lord is great and certainly worthy of praise. No one can fathom his greatness. One generation will praise your deeds to another and tell about your mighty acts. I will focus on your honor and majestic splendor and your amazing deeds. They will proclaim the power of your awesome acts. I will declare your great deeds. They will talk about the fame of your great kindness and sing about your justice. The Lord is merciful and compassionate. He is patient and demonstrates great loyal love. The Lord is good to all and has compassion on all He has made. All He has made will give thanks to the Lord. Your loyal followers will praise you. They will proclaim the splendor of your kingdom. They will tell about your power so that mankind might acknowledge your mighty acts and the majestic splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an eternal kingdom and your dominion endures through all generations. The Lord supports all who fall, and lifts up all who are bent over. Everything looks to you in anticipation, and you provide them with food on a regular basis. You open your hand, and fill every living thing with the food they desire. The Lord is just in all His actions, and exhibits love in all He does. The Lord is near all who cry out to Him, all who cry out to Him sincerely. He satisfies the desire of His loyal followers. He hears their cry for help and delivers them. The Lord protects those who love Him, but He destroys all the wicked. My mouth will praise the Lord. Let all who live praise His holy name forever. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for your word, and we thank you for the reminders that were given as we look at these psalms together today. And Lord, we know that you are near to all who cry out to you. 
that all who come to you and express their need for your gift of salvation, all who trust in your Son, Jesus Christ, receive the gift of salvation freely through faith in him. Lord, we're grateful that when we make that cry before your throne, that you hear us and that you answer, and that you joyfully give your gift of salvation to all who seek it through your Son. Lord, thank you for this blessing, thank you for your love, and thank you for your presence with us today. We commit this day to your care, and we thank you for all of these things. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you again for listening to the Chapter a Day Audio Bible. For more resources to help you in your walk with Christ, please visit us online at DesireJesus.com.